another one of my favorites. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout. She would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and she'd scrape the pans. She would candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. So it piled up to the ceiling, coffee grinds, potato peelings, brown bananas and rotten peas, those chunks of soured cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor. It cracked the window and it blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones and drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crust and withered greens, soggy beans, tangerines crusts of black burned buttered toast, grisly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage, it rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubblegum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery, blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high Finally, it touched the sky. All of the neighbors moved away. None of her friends would come over to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there, in the garbage, she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate. I cannot now to you relate because the hour is much too late, but children at Irving School remember Sarah Stout and always take your garbage out.